Welcome back, everybody. Look at our little library. These little libraries are popping up all over the country, all over the world, yep. really. And here to show us how we could have a little free library in our own community is Ken Wingard. I love this Hello. idea. Yeah, it, it's very sweet. Yeah, it's free. It's it, it, it is free. free. Explain the free library. Yeah. All right, so I was like on my way to, to work. I was walking by my house and I saw, I think we saw a photo of it earlier, this little thing and it had like, you know, give one, take one. It's sort of like, and I'm like, what? It's like just books out here and it's a thing where you go and the books that you've already read, you put there and then you browse through and you pick a couple that you haven't read. And it just works out being this sort of like community involvement. I'm like, oh, what great guys, how nice of them. Yeah. And then I started seeing them all over the place and I looked it up and it's this huge, huge movement. And it's built on the honor yeah. system, really. Right, right. There's no no money is exchanged and no one no. guards there, it. There, actually, we mentioned it in the Rose Parade because Pasadena has quite a few of them and because of one of the Floats was, was promoting that. And when you say huge movement, explain how huge. All right, so it started in 2009 in Wisconsin. Um, Todd Bowl of Hudson decided to, as a tribute to his mother to build a little red schoolhouse. He put it in his front yard with books. It says, take one. And the neighbors like loved it. He built some more and put them all around the town. So then a, a friend of his, who's Rick Brooks from University of Wisconsin, said he was looking for sort of projects that have social consciousness. They got together and their goal was like, let's put 2,100 Hundred of these, you know, across Wisconsin, across the state. I know they have fifty thousand of wow. them now. Uh, fifty five thousand. Wow. Five zero comma zero zero zero. Yeah. And look at all in fifty and fifty states and seventy countries. There's Rochester, Minnesota, and it's really just taken Aww. the world by storm. You know, Ottawa. And what's great about these? A lot of them are small towns where there's no library, yeah. where you may not be able to go to a bookstore and spend 12, 14 bucks on, exactly. on a new book. Yeah. yeah. And so it promotes literacy. It promotes sharing. It builds community. And like. Like a total goosebump. I know, me too. It's like what, like a wonderful, wonderful thing that that sure. not only did they start it, but that communities have sort of like embraced yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Well, how can you find them then? How can people keep track of them? So these? you can go to their um, littlefreelibrary.org mm -hmm. and you can actually, they have a map there so you can look and find one that's near you. Um, you can also buy one from them. You can actually order them from $60 on the, all the way up and have one sent to you and then you become registered and you can sort of become part of the movement. But really buy when we can make. Exactly. exactly. Ah. And you know, evidently she is a huge <laughs> like, if she can't do it, she just looks it up on YouTube I, and like ice skating. Building. I'm a right. everything. Exactly. As long as I have the internet and right. I can. Right. That's exactly. true. It's yeah. true. So, well, and they and encourage you so to, to, to do your own. So you can build your own. I decided to make one just out of a, a secondhand piece of furniture. You can then go to their website and register it for just forty. So you don't have to buy theirs to right. register it. Forty okay. bucks. You register it. You're on their map, and they encourage even if you find one in your neighborhood that's not registered, call the the sort of caretaker of it and get them to because that way other people can find it. It's, okay. it's kind of like a birdhouse, but it's a bookhouse. Right. Yeah. And they're oh. like, amazing. Like you go, to, like they're like some are made out of little like refrigerators. Some are made out of oh, boats, goodness. and they're really like charming. So yeah. this yeah. one, I guess, wanted to take a simple little cabinet I, I found in a secondhand store. Um, you do want to make sure it has doors and glass just to keep out elements, birds, yeah. critters, etc. Um, in my neighborhood, it's just like this. Um, you don't need to work because we don't really get rain. It's underneath the eaves. But if you're someplace where it rains or snows, you want to put some sort of roof on it. So all yeah. I did here was just cut a piece of plywood. Cut two triangles, right angle, and then just make sure your hypotenuse is the uh, is equal to your depth here. And then all okay. we're gonna do, Miss, like oh, I yeah. can do there everything. There goes DIY. Yeah. You wanna grab Excuse that me, air let gun me take down over. there? Oh. I'm sure you're an oh, air yeah. gun expert, oh, right? Yeah. Well. Look at this. Just we'll give see. us just give us two oh, right, you know, really? right here. Really? I didn't make sure it's flush. This. Okay. Make sure it's so flush on there. Push it down. So push it right here. Safety and boom. There you go. Woo! No, does that feel good? That feels great. There we go. Debbie? There. Almost as invigorating as riding a motorcycle. <laughs> or ice skating. None. Or ice skating. <laughs> of which I can do really none except for this. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> you never uh, know. So, you know, it's great. You can really, like, do these. Try really? To Again? <laughs> <laughs> oh! There we go. Okay. And this will keep off, you know, keep off snow, keep rain. Oh, not even funny. Uh, not even not funny. Not even funny. Um, and then once you register it, you're free legally to use a little free library name. They will send you a sign or just paint it on yourself. And then people really know kind of what's going on. You really want it to be airtight to keep the elements out. And you said to keep the critters out. But what if, like, 
bookworms want to go in. Can you get in? <laughs> I have to say, Mark, Wait, it's pretty good because we're like five minutes in and that's your first. Uh, get I'm over here and help. No, I noticed <laughs> that they didn't give you a symbol for that. I don't, I don't think it was, it was quite I a wasn't good enough, Jules. Yeah. I deserve this. Jenny, oh. Julie, you want to you grab those books there oh, underneath sure. for okay. us? Help Jules and then all you're going to want to do, they, they recommend putting it on a post oh, because you really want it to be at, um, at eye height. You guide it, no. There we go. Pop your Said books here. in, okay. and you're in. Now, if you're going to install one of these, do check. If you live in like a condo association, check with your oh. HOA. Let me get this yeah. on here, right? Check with your HOA to make sure that you're legally allowed to have it if you're putting it in public space. Okay. Obviously, in your front yard, etc. It's not a problem. And I've seen them like with little benches. They specialize in kids' books, and but it's really like it's just it's promoting literacy and reading. And sure. I really don't think we can have yeah. enough of that. Just a little exactly. crack. I think a, just a little tiny crack, you know, for the bookworm. Just to get in through. You're not going to let it go. You still know hi hat. No, he won't let it go. There we go. go. Just make for him stop. For more start. DIY inspiration, go to Ken's website. And for more dad jokes, visit Markle. <laughs> <laughs>